previously on TV Eyes at Home. As you can see, this is a shared drive. So remember, my learner is going to be Katrina. Look it up here. It's not my drive. It's Katrina's drive. Say that Katrina opens this assignment, she completes it, and it's done. She is then going to move it to the next folder, which is, of course, submitted. We're on Zoom video conferencing with Katrina. The screen sharing command is a really easy key command. All right, so we are now on Zoom, like, fully and completely, right? We, we see your screen, we hear NVDA, we're ready to start our instruction, yeah? And now, TVI's at Home, part three, remote instruction. So if you haven't seen parts one and two of this series, definitely go and check those out now. But if you have and you're all caught up, we have a really exciting video for you today. We're gonna hop back on that Zoom call with Katrina and we're gonna teach her how to access her shared drive system from part one using remote learning so that she can access all of her assignments from home. Now, this full lesson is going to cover four parts, but today, in today's video, we're only doing one of them for a couple of reasons. Firstly, so that you can get a sense for the flow and the teaching style that you might be able to expect when teaching a student that uses a screen reader using remote learning, number one, and number two, so that you can really wrap your head around this content. Now, before we really dive into this lesson content, we have to have Katrina do a couple of things so that she's set up for success. First, we have to get her to switch out of browse mode and also switch Google Drive from grid view to list view. Check it out. Um, the first thing that we want to consider is that we are, because we're using a Google product, we are outside of the realm of NVDA key commands. Um, now, if you don't already know, Anytime that you're using a Google product, no matter what screen reader you're using, Google forces us to use their key commands. Now, it's really great because that means that no matter what screen reader you're using right now, you will be able to follow along with this video because the key commands are gonna be the exact same. So that's really cool. And then the other thing is also that if Katrina learns how to use Google Drive with NVDA, that means that she can use Google Drive with JAWS or VoiceOver or Chromevox or any screen reader. So that's really cool, yeah. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, but. When we're using NVDA, we do need to make sure that NVDA knows that we are not using NVDA key commands. And the way that we do this is we get out of something called browse mode. So hold on. We're going to take a second here to give you a better example of why we need to get out of browse mode. Now, as I said, when we're in browse mode, the screen reader is ready to navigate the internet using those NVDA key commands. And we don't want to do that, and I'm going to show you why. So as an example, our first key command that we're going to learn in this lesson is G l to get to that list section of google drive but when we try to do that when we're in browse mode no next graphic you see nvda thinks that we're looking for graphics why well because the g key in nvda is the key to go to the next graphic and that is why we need to get out of browse mode and the way that we get out of browse mode katrina is we hold down the nvda key which is Caps lock? Caps lock, absolutely. If you're on a laptop, it's caps lock. If you're on a desktop, it's insert. You're going to hold down caps lock, keep holding it down, and while you're holding down caps lock, press space bar. Okay, here I go. Beautiful. And once we hear that sound, that sound means we are out of browse mode. We're now in edit mode. If you hear another sound, Katrina, can you do that again? Oh, we're back in browse mode, which means that our NVDA key commands will be... Um, up first. So if we press any key command, NVDA will think, oh, well, you're using an NVDA key command. So let's get back out of browse mode. Perfect. And, and now we're set up. Okay. So okay. now that we're not in browse mode, we're ready to use our Google key commands. The last thing that we want to do to get set up is you see this grid view for those of you watching at home, this grid view where our main content area is in a grid. That's not really conducive to screen reader users. We want to change that to a list because lists and menus are super easy to navigate, okay? So Katrina, can you just press the V key and that will change us from the grid view to the list view. V, change to list view, loading section, main landmark, table, administrators, awesome. Google press Drive control. folder owned by. Yeah, and as we are doing this, Katrina, feel free to press control unless I tell you, hey, guess what? This next section is gonna be pretty important, okay? Um, okay. Cool. Okay, now we're ready to begin our lesson. So our full lesson is going to include four parts, how to navigate Google Drive, how to move files, how to open files, and how to create files and folders. But remember, we're only doing one today, and that one's navigate. 
So the final thing before we hop over to Katrina on Zoom to get started with our actual lesson is that I want to tell you a little bit about the progression I used here. Something that I do in technology instruction that lends itself well to remote learning is a teach, do, teach, do progression. This means that in each part of the lesson, there will be a teach section and a do section. Now in the teach section, I'm going to provide instruction as normal. And then in the do section, I'm going to provide my student with a challenge to demonstrate her learning. During this section, there are only two rules that I try to maintain. The first is that I only speak if my student asks me a question, and the second is that I cannot give away any key commands. This way, my student knows they need to pay attention during the teach section, and it gives them the confidence to demonstrate their learning without praise from me. Now we're going to get into our first teaching section of our first step, which is, Katrina, what's our first step? Navigate. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do the teach section of our navigate section. Now we're going to need to learn three things to navigate Google Drive and to get to our shared drive. The first thing is that we have to know how to move from our main content area, which is in the middle, to our sidebar, okay, and back again. We have to move between those two areas, okay? And it's really important that we know that they're not necessarily called main content area and sidebar in Google Drive. They're called list view and navigation pane, okay? And it's really important because the key commands are kind of conducive to this. So for example, in our Google key commands, right, these are gonna be layered key commands, which means instead of holding down control and then pressing C, right, like we would in a Windows or an NVDA key command, we are going to press one key and then the other. So we're not holding down any modifier keys and then pressing a key, we're doing one key let go and then another key let go. And to get to our list view, those two keys are going to be G, then L. So press G real quick and then press L real quick. And let's see what happens, Katrina. G, L. Beautiful. And now we're in our list view. Okay. Now, Katrina, why do you think it's G, L? What do you think that stands for? Go to list? Yeah, that's exactly Google right. Google list? Yeah, no, oh, that's, okay. it's go to list. Absolutely. So go to awesome. list. And that's really funny because, again, we've never rehearsed this. So really, really nice job. So go Thank to you. list. Um, which is really great because it's super intuitive, right? Go to list. That's where I want to go. Now, if we're going from the list to the navigation pane, right, to that sidebar, what do you think the key command is going to be? GN, Abs go to navigation. Absolutely. Let's try it. Okay. GN, navigation landmark. Beautiful. Folders and views tree view. Nice job pressing control too. Um, awesome. So now we know how to move back and forth between the two sections, right? Now... Before we go on to the next step, what I want you to know is that in the navigation section, those are like the main sections of Google Drive. So in there, you have priority, um, my drive, shared drives, shared with me, right? So those are all the main mm -hmm. sections. And then in the list view, that's where your folders and files are going to be, okay? So that's really important to know. Um, now, when you get to a section, so say you go to GL and you want to get to a file in that section. It's just like a list or a menu. Um, and Katrina, we know how to navigate that, right? How do you navigate a list or a menu? Up and down arrow. You got it. Up and down arrow keys. Absolutely. Okay. And then the final thing we need to know is if you get somewhere and you need to back out. So for example, we're going to go into our assignments folder of our algebra folder in our shared drive. Let's say we want to go to the assignments folder of the government folder. We need to back out of that folder. All we do, it's the simple internet command for backing out. It's alt left arrow. Okay. So holding down alt, pressing left arrow. And I love to see that Katrina's writing this down because she knows that I'm going to give her a challenge in two seconds. Okay. So now we're going to move into our, the do section of our uh, navigation task. Okay. And uh, again, this is a challenge and I'm not allowed to say any key commands. Now, Katrina, before we get into our first do section, you I'm going to try to give you the challenge and then say nothing unless you ask me a question. So for example, I'm going to give you your challenge and you're going to be like, I have no idea what to do. Um, you have the absolute right to ask me a question. Just know that I'm not going to give you any key commands back. I will try to answer as many of your questions as, as I possibly can though. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you seem a little nervous. <laughs> But uh, okay, so here's your challenge. So your challenge is to get into your shared drive. And you and I talked about your shared drive before, so you kind of understand the concept. But I want you to get into the assignments folder of the algebra folder of your shared drive, okay? Now, some reminders, and these are the only reminders that I'm going to give you offhand, is that that navigation section is where you find the main parts of your drive, like my drive, 
shared drives shared with me and the middle uh, section, the list view is going to be where you find your files and folders, okay? Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, go for it. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna press um, GN, go to navigation. GN. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna do the down arrow. Shared drives not selected collapsed three of seven level one. And then I remember it being a, sh a shared drive. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to press enter. Mm -hmm. Shared drives Google Drive document. Unknown. Shared drives Google Drive document. And then um, I think I have to go to the um, main area, which is the list view. So that would be G plus L. G L. And then I need to use the arrow keys to navigate it until I hear Katrina's drive. I dot T secure shared drive three people two of three. Katrina's drive shared drive five people three of three. Okay, right, then I'm gonna press enter. Working. Dismiss. Loading section. Katrina's drive Google Drive document. And then you said it was an assignment in, what was it again? See, that's okay. So you're gonna to go to the assignments folder inside the algebra folder. Okay, and I believe that I was on the algebra folder, but I'm just gonna down arrow and then up arrow one time. English Google Drive, algebra Google Drive folder last modified by okay, Cody Laplace. Cool. So it's in the algebra folder and it's an assignment folder. Working, dismiss. Loading section, main landmark, table, one to be converted Google Drive folder last modified by Cody Laplante March. Control, and then I'm going to go down until I hear assignments. Two assignments Google Drive folder last modified by Cody Laplante March 20th, 2020. Row. I'm assuming that's it. It said two assignments. Um, let me see. I'm going to do another down arrow key just in case. Three submitted Google Drive folder last modified by Cody Laplante March 20. Two assignments Google Drive folder last modified by Cody Laplante. I'm going to hit enter. Working. Awesome. Dismiss. Loading section. Main landmark. Go ahead and press control. Table. Dilation okay. dot docs work. And you got it. I did? Yeah, you did. Okay. Now, notice look now. How, notice, notice how I didn't say anything that entire time. That's some real. Yeah. That's that's taken a long time to practice. When you're you, when you do all of this instruction, then you release your student and you say nothing, and that's really really <laughs> hard. But it's so effective because then it gives Katrina even I didn't even say good job or anything. It gives Katrina not only the confidence to say I don't need you to to praise me anytime I do something in the right direction. And it also allows Katrina to make mistakes, right? So if she started going down the wrong path, guess what? I would have let her go down the wrong path. And then we would have come back and debriefed and that's all right. Um, cool, so very nice stop job, Katrina. I, there were so many things that were great that you did. I love how you used the down arrow key a couple of times just to make sure. Um, but yeah, that was great. Thank awesome, you. good job. Thank you, cool. pat on the back. Pat on the back. <laughs> Now, if you feel like you need to brush up on those NVDA key commands, consider signing up for our newsletter to receive a free NVDA cheat sheet. Just click the link in the description and fill out the form with your name and email address. Also, scroll down and hit that subscribe button. As always, this will alert you anytime we have a new video. And in our next video, we're going to take a break from Google Drive to teach you all some important tips and tricks to efficiently convert those pesky, inaccessible documents into formats that your student can access. Thanks so much from all of us at IT and we'll see you next week.